Hi, all you SPMEs out there. Today's question has three answers, and the third answer is a secret you're going to want to stick around for because it will explain how you can 10x your results with Kindle in 2020. So let's get into it. The question that was sent in to me today was, is self-publishing on Kindle worth it in 2020? Now, this is an excellent question because as everyone knows, or maybe they don't, the golden age of Kindle publishing was maybe 2010 to 2015. There was a period of time where virtually any book that you would put out onto the market would contain, would sell and sell a lot of copies. So if you were lucky enough to get in, in the very early days, the ability to earn was very easy. You didn't really need much more than just throw some books out there on whatever su subject or whatever in the early days because there were so few books to compete with. And so it was very easy then. But now in 2020, maybe the rules have changed in such that it is no longer worth your time and effort to publish on Kindle. And this is a very common question. So before I get into the answers, this is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com, where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. Click the subscribe bell if you'd like for me to make more videos like this one and check out below in my description and grab my free self-publishing checklist to help you get started on your self-publishing journey or to help you see if you've forgotten any steps. So is self-publishing on Kindle worth it in 2020? Well, let's start with my own personal story. When I started publishing back in uh, 2015 was, the, was when I first started, I read a book or two that was covering exactly how to go about self-publishing. I uh, put the book out there. I followed all the rules that I was aware of at the time of how to go about marketing and trying to get the book to sell, all of the little tricks that are necessary. And the end result was I did not make very many sales because I simply wasn't doing the right things to get it to sell. And it was really funny because in 2015, I also heard people ask the question in some of the podcasts I was listening to at the time. The question was, is the golden age of Kindle already over and that now there's no way to really make money doing Kindle books? And I thought, wow, maybe I missed my opportunity. 2012 would have been a much better time to have started, but now here I am in 2015 and I may have already missed the boat on Kindle publishing. Now, fortunately for me, that was complete nonsense. It is true that it would have been easier if I had started years earlier, but then again, with almost anything, whether you're going to plant a tree, the best time to do it would have been 20 years ago. But the second best time is today and getting started immediately really would, in fact, make a difference. And so I put out my first book, but and I, after a year of trying and struggling a bit, I s saw that it was very, very difficult to actually get regular income coming in until I'd taken some courses and suddenly learned some key tricks to the entire game. And that has changed the way it all is played. Even to today, I still am using some of the very tricks and, and skills and all sorts of tactics that I learned back then in 27, 2016, 2017 timeframe. 2016 was when I really started discovering a lot of the key tactics, which already work and they continue to work out to today in 2020. So for me, uh, I have found it to be worth it. So is self-publishing on Kindle worth it in 2020? Well, here's the answer. Yes, it is still the easiest way to make money online. You can take books that you've written or you can pay other people to write books or even essays you've written. You can put them together into a into a easy to combine together. And that's number two. It can be done for free that you can put them together into a small, easy package. You can create covers for free with Canva. It doesn't have to cost you anything. You can put those books out there. You can get reviews on those books from friends or family or, or people who are not really related to you using email lists and all sorts of little tricks there. But uh, that the thing is, is that uh, you will be able to get those books to sell, assuming you're following the correct tricks. But if you really want to 10x your results, because I was almost ready to give up in 2016 until I came across some tactics and strategies that I hadn't been implementing, and I'd also been isolating myself from the self-publishing community at the time. So I wasn't even aware of the fact that there were people sitting around all day focusing on one thing, which is how do I get my books to sell more? And how do I get books in the first place or write books or pay people to write books for me that will sell more copies? And so the first thing is, if you're going to make more money, you're going to need to invest in some tools. 
I use Fiverr for my cover, which you can find below in the description, the, the link to the designer that I use. For $20, you can get an amazing cover. Um, I use Uto for my formatting. I use uh, Kindle uh, Spy to figure out whether a book's going to be profitable or not in particular niches. And I use Publisher Rocket for my uh, when I'm going to take my books and I'm going to run ads against them to find out which keywords I should be using. So that's a few of the tools I use. I have other tools as well, but those are just some of the basic ones. you find them all below in the description for my getting my books onto the market and ensuring they're going to make me money. The other thing is courses, taking courses. Um, I am finishing up working a course on doing uh, marketing, so content marketing for your books. I'm almost finished with that course. I'll be releasing that shortly. You also can take other courses that people offer on the subject. I'm not even arguing which courses you should take because there's an awful lot of courses. Some of them are overpriced at like $2,000 a piece, so I probably wouldn't go that route. But if you can get a course for about $50 to $100, it's probably worth the investment in order to, to do it if other people have taken it and can vouch that the course is going to be good. The other thing is finding communities, and many of the communities build around self-publishing where they discuss all day and every day strategies. I would not get into communities where everybody's just promoting ebooks to each other, but in general, many of the communities online are just fantastic, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook. Those are probably the easiest places to start when you're trying to find a community to help you with your self-publishing. And the final thing to 10x your results is going beyond just Kindle. You don't want to just stay with Amazon Kindle. You should be using KDP Print to get your paper books out. You should be pulling them over to ACX and Audible to get your audiobooks produced. And for hardback, you should be going to Lulu. And for even more greater extended distribution, you should be going on to uh, Ingram Spark. But don't make yourself make it too complicated. Start with one thing at a time. And if you don't even have your Kindle book out, well, don't even bother to try the other stuff. So we just focus on one thing at a time. And once you've got your Kindle books on the market, then we can move on to the next step. But first, just get the Kindle books on the market. So is self-publishing on Kindle worth it in 2020? What have you found? Have you found that you've been able to make money off of your books? Uh, if so, let me know below in the comments. I always respond back, so I would really love to hear what exactly you found. And check up above me here for other video answers to your self-publishing questions. Thanks.